In this lecture, we'll have a look inside the Arduino Student Kit. As the name suggests, this kit is specifically designed for students and for people new to the Arduino. So having a look at the box that contains everything, the first thing to look at is the kit contents. So lots of interesting components. These are components that you'll be using pretty much in every single experiment that involves an Arduino. And it also includes an Arduino Uno revision 3 board. Other things of note here, and we'll look at all of the components uh, one by one, is of course a USB cable to connect the Arduino to your computer. There is a multimeter, very useful for simple electronic measurements such as resistance and voltage. There's also a 9 volt battery snap that allows you to power your Arduino uh, independently of the computer, so it doesn't need to be tethered to the computer. There's even a battery. There's uh, lots of LEDs, assorted resistors, there's uh, a breadboard kit, so you can assemble simple circuits on the breadboard, um, a servo motor, potentiometers, uh, capacitors, buttons, there's a photo transistor here, allows you to measure light intensity, lots of jumpers wires, a temperature sensor, nuts and bolts, and uh, a PSO buzzer as well. So let's have a look inside. First, there's a Arduino uh, 3 board, uh, standard Arduino Uno with its plastic base, the most modern of the Arduino Unos. Then, let's see, I've got uh, a bag here that contains a mini breadboard and jumper wires, so there's your mini breadboard. Uh, there's solid core jumper wires, those help to create nice and uh, tidy circuits on your mini breadboard. Let's have a look inside this box, inside a box. So here we have a 9 volt battery. A servo motor and other bits and pieces including uh, flexible jumper wires, there's a piezo buzzer for making noise, there's various colors of LEDs, there is a potentiometer, and let's see there is the 9 volt clip, so you can attach the battery to the mini breadboard. The mini breadboard here, so you can power circuits and components that require 9 volts. And here's an example of a electrolytic capacitor here. Okay, so that's what's inside in this box. I'll put it back together. Continuing with the large box, there's the USB cable that allows you to connect your Arduino to your computer. And this is something that you don't find in many kits. You've got a nice multimeter. So here's a multimeter. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use this in a later lecture in this course and the probes for the multimeter. You plug those probes onto the device and you can start measuring things like uh, voltage, resistance and amperage, so the current that is flowing through a circuit. I'll show you how to use this in a later lecture, as I said, so don't worry about this for now, but this is a very useful interest instrument to have in your kit. And there's also an instruction leaflet for the multimeter. Another thing to notice here is that when you purchase the student kit in the piece of cardboard uh, that is at the top of the kit with the kit contents, there is also a special code in here. It's an activation code for a small course that you can find at studentkit.arduino.cc. So along with the kit, you also get a small course that is worth.